In the last few videos, we looked at some of the ways that you can change the appearance of your Typeform. We looked at how you can adjust colors, how you can change fonts, and how you can add background images, among other things. What I'm going to show you now is a way of doing all of that simultaneously or using really a theme or theme kit that Typeform has to really make this a much faster process. Now, to do this, I'm actually going to go back and make a copy of an earlier one. I'm going to use this one piping before I started changing any of the colors of the fonts. So I've got a plain one here. Now, you can still use theme kits even if you've already changed stuff around. I just thought it would be easier to start with the plain one to see how it looks. So let's start with a quick preview of the plain version of the type form. Okay, so there it is. It's just the white background, the black type, and it's a sans serif font, and we got the teal green start button. And so that's what's happening on this one. Now let's come down to themes. Let's go to design. And then here at the bottom, we have an option to choose a theme. We also can save a theme. If you've changed the settings and you want to keep them, you can save them as your own theme. I'm going to come down here to choose a theme. And then what all of these are, are combinations of fonts and colors, and some of them have images associated as well. So I'll just hit, for instance, uh, 50s pinup, the colors are kind of nice. There you go. And we got this little cursive font and it, it's cute. I think it would be hard to read for an entire form. And so you maybe want to try something if you want to have another font that's a little hard to read. You can use the comic font. And so these are a lot of different ways of setting up the form. However, I want to show you what it's like when you use an image as well. So for instance, let's come down to the wood theme. Here we go right here. Now, it's not showing a lot of difference right now. I'm going to click on that again. And I'm going to say apply to type form. The trick is sometimes it doesn't really show you this is supposed to be a live preview. But if we go up to view my type form and click on that, then now you can actually see what it looks like all the way through. So the preview sometimes needs a little prompting by actually loading the preview. I'm going to close that. And again, you can see it didn't really update it here, but it's updated in the application itself. And we can pick some others. I'll do theme, the crowd theme. And what you're seeing here, by the way, is the background color. This is something that goes underneath the image. But if you want to see the image that goes on top itself, I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to view it. And now you see the crowd image with the red overlay. And this is not a bad one, especially the white on the red. It reads pretty well. And so Typeform provides a lot of options for making all of these customizations, the color, the font, and images, and doing them all at once. You also have the option, I mentioned, of saving your own theme kit. I'm going to do that for a moment by closing this. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the last one I worked on with background images, just going to open that up. And if you remember, this is the one that has my own fonts, it has my own colors, it has all my own settings here, my own image. And if I want to save that, this is the preview, so I'm going to close it. If I want to save that, then what I need to do is come to design. And it's going to show me the preview here on the right side. And I come down to save to theme kit. And now I just type in graph paper for, excuse me, data lab. And now I can save that. And it's my own combination of the graph pad background and the font and the colors. And now I can apply that to any other type forms that I create. And it's a nice way of saving time and getting a consistent look to give a consistent message about what you're trying to do.